vertical video syndrome is dangerous. Motion pictures have always been horizontal. Televisions are horizontal. Computer screens are horizontal. People's eyes are horizontal. We aren't built to watch vertical videos. I love vertical videos! Nobody cares about you! So, what's up, Hawk fans? Hello, hello. So, I don't think you understand what's happening here. Um, the other day, Over the Top's secret spy caught de Couplier cheating on her keto challenge. Yeah. And, uh... And you can watch the clip right now. <laughs> so, yep, the coupe they cheated. What was it that you cheated on your diet with? With chocolate chip and macadamia and cookies and milk. Chocolate chip cookies and white macadamia nut cookies with milk. They were so good. So they were so good. <laughs> we've got some punishments for her. Yeah. Not, not keeping up with this challenge. Mm -hmm. So today what we're going to do for you is we are going to decorate Christmas cookies. Because this is something that we do during Christmas mm -hmm. when you're white. <laughs> you're white too, bro. Or an aunt. Or an aunt. Yeah, I don't do those. Oh, okay. Yeah, dads don't do those. Oh, dad, That's true. Dads put the Christmas trees around the light, around the tree. The light, well, the Christmas lights around the tree. <laughs> you know, maybe puts the lights outside. That's After dads that, for Christmas. That's it. The women do everything else. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. That's, that's just how it goes. <laughs> Nikki's mad about it. Nah, I'm alright. So, why don't you explain yours a little bit? Mine is the Ugly Sweater Cookie Kit. And it's got three gingerbread sweater-shaped cookies already. I got some balls, because everybody likes balls. Well, certain people do. And I got some stars, and I got some sprinkles. And it looks like I got red, white, and green frosting to decorate it with. Nice. What you got? I guess my dear sister took care of me, because I don't have nearly as many things. <laughs> I have this gingerbread man. I mean, he's huge. Yeah. He's a big guy. Um... Three kinds of icing, white, green, and red for, I guess, Christmas colors. Mm -hmm. And they gave me two rolls of sweet tarts and a box of nerds. There you go. So. Have you seen that commercial? When they say there's only enough pumpkin spice latte milk for one cup, and then the guy does rock, paper, scissors with the gingerbread man, and the gingerbread man won. Oh, you get me every time. And the gingerbread man goes, you know, I could only do paper every time, right? Oh, because of the... Ah. <laughs> I'm like, that dude was I during the commercial. Well, I'm glad <laughs> that I got to hear about that commercial. But based on our conversation on the last podcast, I don't watch live television. Uh, and I do. <laughs> You're missing out on shit. Just saying. I didn't miss out on it. You just told me about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you missed out on so many other things, though. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I got that. three ugly sweaters I got to take care of. Three hell? ugly sweaters. So, usually we have a meeting. I think we need scissors. Yeah, I'll go grab some. We usually have a meeting around the middle of the week where we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about on the show. And... I came up with this idea that we would just have a creative show where we think up of a movie that we'd like to remake and who would we put in it. Mm -hmm. So I've played this game before, but Nikki hasn't. 
We're going to do this now. So while we're making these cookies. <laughs> I didn't even study. We are. I know one or two by heart. The, my notes are over there. Okay. So, <laughs> I wanna, I'm really excited because I told Nikki to come up with five movies. Yep. And I said, five movies that you want to see remade. And who would you put in it? Yep. So since she knows two of them by heart, we'll, we'll just leave her to two. Uh, it's in the... Yep. It, no, just give me that. Oh. <laughs> well, the first one is Drop Dead Fred. Drop Dead Fred. Drop Dead Fred, baby. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was an enjoyable movie. That was That's definitely enjoyable. enjoyable. Look. Cobwebs. <laughs> right. movie reference just saying so I was thinking Good that job. Mr. Fred would be in place from Jim Carrey okay and the daughter would be um, Jessica Alba and the mother would be Maggie Smith who? who's Maggie Smith? I probably know who it is. Maggie Smith was the, the nun from Sister Act that she was like, oh, no, you can't do that. That she was all in, was like, Sister Mary Clarence, how dare you? So you're talking about the lady that was Mother Superior on Sister Act. That's Maggie Smith. Yeah, that's Maggie it Smith. Maggie Smith. Is she still alive? I have no idea. I don't think she's but still alive. But it's just wishful thinking. <laughs> how about Sally Field? Did you put Sally Field in that role? I would. Is that compromisable? I, I can compromise with that one. That but she's make, sweet. She's I not I don't think sassy. Maggie Smith is around anymore. Yeah. Okay. But it's just pretend. It's just pretend. Okay. Um, then I thought of the Gremlins. The Gremlins. Remaking the Gremlins. Really? Aren't you the one who said that you'd like to just let it die? Let it leave? leave I, it I did. But you said it's a creative show. So I oh, thought, okay. what the hey? Why not? Do you have those scissors, baby? So... Oh. So, so I was thinking okay, that... Okay, so you want to remake Gremlins. Yeah, so with Zach Galligan and Phoebe Cates, I was thinking of Will Smith and Uzo Aduba. Uzo Aduba? Yeah. Who's Uzo Aduba? Oh, that's right, because you don't watch that shit. She's Crazy Eyes from Orange is the New Black. Uzo Aduba. Yeah. I do watch Orange is the New Black. Okay, so, okay, so you just didn't know her, didn't know her, her, her legal name. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Maggie Smith is alive. Okay. Maggie Smith is okay. We just got confirmation. Fact finder. Maggie Smith is alive. She's alive, bitches. Look at you trying to kill Maggie Smith. Cookie. What's wrong with you? I don't know what to do with this cookie. Try to imitate that. <laughs> but I don't want to imitate it. Well, then do your own thing. Hello. Do you want like a toothpick or something so you could just do swirls and shit <laughs> with it? No. No. Okay. So, so that was with that one. Um, okay. Problem Child was my third movie. <laughs> Problem Child. Problem Child All right, was well, my third pick. Who would be John Ritter? Now, I wanted to do it with a twist. Instead of it being a father and a son, I thought of it being a mother and a daughter. Oh. Yeah. So I thought that the mom would be Tiffany Haddish. She's that crazy oh, bitch no, from, you know, yeah. Is. The grapefruit thing. Another movie reference, but we won't talk about that on the show. <laughs> and then the daughter, I didn't really know about a lot of young actresses, so I just went with Willow Smith. Will Smith's daughter. I don't know if she could be sassy or not. Uh -huh. So that was my third movie reference. Um, the fourth movie I would think for a change would be Home Alone. I mean, why do that? It's such a classic, right, with Macaulay Culkin. But figured why not do it with a twist. Um, I thought of Sandra Bullock and John Goodman as the mom and dad. Uh -oh. Who is the kid that you picked? Oh, the kid? I haven't chosen the kid yet. The kid I thought of Anna Nicole's daughter, uh, Daryl and Burkhart. Burkhead. What has he been in? I have no idea. She's a model, actually, and she does commercials. So I thought give her a chance for Home Alone. Okay. She just has that Colgate smile kind of kid, so I figured why not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. The fifth movie. I don't know if a lot of people know this one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Do you remember that movie? No. 
Stay tuned was the one where their cable goes out and this guy just okay, shows up okay, with a big yeah, ass remote. Yeah. I go, he's yeah. John Ritter was in it. Yeah. Yep, John Ritter was on that one. Okay. So I was thinking of, uh, let's see, who did I think of? So Ben Stiller would be in place of John Ritter. Um, this actor is dead, but I don't care. I'm going to add him into the movie. Heath Ledger as Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Jones. Heath Ledger as the devil, and you're going to put Ben Stiller as the dad who keeps getting caught up in the hijinks? Yep. God damn you, that couldn't work. <laughs> the wife I thought was uh, would be fucking Anne Heath, Hathaway. Fucking ha Heath Ledger. Yeah, fucking Heath Ledger. Hey, look at that. We ain't gonna fight about that one. <laughs> that could work. That was actually pretty genius. Yeah. Grazie, grazie. So and you, then I thought uh, of uh, Dad as uh, Robert De Niro. And then the wife as Anne Hathaway. The dad? Yeah. Um, it was John Ritter's dad, or the guy that always came to the house. It's been so long. I know. It's been I, so I just long. don't remember him. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's actually that was pretty good. So you've kind of stuck with the genre of family movies. And, yeah, uh, it was comedies. a lot of family comedy, fantasy. Gremlins was pronounced fantasy horror. I'm like, come on. Gremlins are not scary. <laughs> well, they were meant to be they scary. They were meant to be scary. But they are a Christmas movie nonetheless. Yes, they are. Um, oh, wow. Did I pick? Yeah, Home Alone is a Christmas movie. I don't know if Drop Dead Fred was Christmas reference. No. No. But you've stuck with family comedies. Yeah. Um... Can we go ahead and say that you are family comedy biased in movies? That's like what you prefer to watch? Uh, at the moment, yes. My my personal choice before was horror movies, and then I don't know what happened. That, that phase just slowly died. And now I'm just into comedy romance and family movies and things like that. Thanks a lot, Mom. Would you say that real-life situations is what took you away from horror movies? You awesome. can't handle the truth. Stop yelling at me, man. I'm just kidding. So nice. No, but it's actually, it's it's really <laughs> weird how we change as we get older. Yeah, that's true. Because um, growing up, you were you were always into horror movies. That's oh, yeah. all you ever wanted to do was watch horror movies. We'd go to Blockbuster, and she'd leave with a stack of like horror movies. <laughs> you know, yes, we are old enough to have gone to Blockbuster and that was a magical time. Yes, it was. Um, so anyhow. You're right. I would always pick horror movies. <laughs> you would. Like, that's what you wanted to watch. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll so tell that's... you what though. There is a horror movie that I want to watch that's out there now. It's that newest uh, exorcism. The exorcism of Hannah Grace. Hannah Grace, yeah, where she's doing the autopsy on her. She's. Um, I do want to see that. That's one. in the theater right now, actually. Yeah. Um, I didn't know anything about it. I hadn't heard anything about it. Yeah, it aired last Thursday. I don't know why exorcism movie exorcism movies always get your money and they're always disappointing. I don't. I don't understand that. What? The only good exorcist movies is The Exorcist. Oh come on! What about that one where the priest had to go to court because of murder, supposedly? It was one of the latest exorcism movies. And then when they said guilty, the jury goes, you know what? We want to do time served. They didn't give him any jail time whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. I Is that that two-parter one? The one that's shot like a documentary and then it comes back as a movie? I want to say yes. Don't quote me on that. but I don't remember what the name of that was. Yeah. But anyways, I'm always disappointed with exorcism movies. I don't know why. Yeah. I'll tell you what, a good, well, it wasn't an exorcism movie, but he always helped with a lot of exorcists during the movie, and that was with Keanu Reeves' Constantine. That was a badass movie. And he's always trying to get, he's always doing exorcisms. That was his job. Don't turn and look at me. What the hell's wrong with you? So you would constitute Constantine as an exorcism movie? Mm hmm. Do you know that John Constantine is a comic book character? 
Really? I did not know that, Did sir. you know that movie is based on the comic series? No. I don't do that shit. And you know that. did you know <laughs> that apparently Keanu Reeves did not do a very good job of portraying John Huston? Whatever. Two fanboys. He did good. Now, let me say this to you. For somebody that doesn't look at comic books, I think that would have been a good movie. But now, let me say this to you. I didn't know it was a comic book movie when I saw that movie. I did not put it as an exorcism movie. I put it as a fantasy movie. And I thought Keanu Reeves did a wonderful job. And Rachel Weisz is just adorable. So fuck you, fanboys. <laughs> Constantine was good. But anyways, yeah. you know they might reboot Constantine. What? Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to try to... Because Constantine is owned by Marvel. Okay. So okay. They, they might uh, work work them into the series. Because John Constantine is a part of another group similar to the Avengers. I don't know what they're called, but it's like a bunch of misfit okay. characters that like kind of come together. Huh. Kind of okay. like the Defenders, but I don't, I don't, remember, I don't know the name. I well, couldn't tell you. coming from somebody that doesn't read comic books and from someone that doesn't follow a lot of Marvel movies, where should you say I should start as far as catching up with this Marvel world? <laughs> where should you start? Start from the fucking beginning. Which is? The very first Marvel movie in this universe was Iron Man. The very first Iron Man. 2008, Robert Downey Jr., Great movie. Okay. You know, okay. when I when I saw it, that is what started this love affair. Mm-hmm. Now, right after that came The Incredible Hulk, which was played by Edward Norton. And uh, for scheduling purposes, he could not sign a contract to continue. And that's why they end up getting uh, Mark Ruffalo to play the Hulk in the following movies. But the standalone movie was starring Edward Norton, and he portrayed Bruce Banner to a T perfectly. Liv mm-hmm. Tyler was the the girlfriend. Uh, William Hurt was the general. It was an awesome movie. Uh, Tim Roth, who I think is a very underrated actor, I really like Tim Roth. Mm-hmm. I even watched the show Lie to Me just so that I could watch Tim Roth acting something <laughs> he's a big Quentin Tarantino go-to guy oh and we love Quentin and Tarantino that, that movie was good too next one came out it was Captain America sorry like Captain America or Thor I think it was Captain America and then Thor and then there was an Avengers movie yeah and everybody's into that guy that's been playing Thor and he's also going to do Aquaman right oh my god why are you saying that ah! <laughs> like, no, he's not. No? <laughs> Chris Hemsworth is Thor. Okay. Jason Momoa is Aquaman. I don't know. It's Two totally different dudes. Tan guy, long hair with a six pack. And Chris like, oh my god! Chris Hemsworth is not tan. He is white. He is like the... the, the He's the whitest of white? Of white. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, I don't follow this shit, so... Well, don't call it shit, man. It's good. Oh, I'm so, sorry. I apologize, Marvel fans. Well, I know that we're talking... We're playing this game and you gave your list. I haven't given my list yet. That's right. Go for it. Um, but before we do that, Avengers released their trailer today. End game. I'm so excited. Can't wait for it. I had a stupid argument with some asshole <laughs> Hot Talkie 69 saying Andrew, how me. shitty that it looked and whatever. I was like, you look shitty. <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. Shut the front door. They are not going to fail. This is going to be awesome. I know Chris is usually on here being really pessimistic about uh, trailers when he sees it. He'll see a trailer and he'll be like, I don't know. I don't know. And he'll be like, shut the fuck up and give me a chance. <laughs> so I'm excited to see it. I can really care less. But um, what anybody else has to say about it, if you don't like it, then go ahead and miss out. There you go. Go ahead and do this out. So what is your first movie, brother, that you would like to see a remake of? I'm glad you asked that question. Mm -hmm. I would really like to see a remake of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Do you not know One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? I've heard of it. But... It is a Jack Nicholson... Oh, movie where he's a man who's insane and the reason he's deemed insane Uh is because he does not agree with the views of society 
So he's just outspoken. He speaks his mind. Mm -hmm. He does things, stuff like that. So what do they do? They throw him in an insane asylum. And in this insane asylum, he basically teaches the actually insane that they don't need to conform their thoughts because they don't coincide in society. So he kind of like, you know, he's like a hell raiser. Okay. And then there's this nurse who's Nurse Ratchet, and I forget the actress that played her, but she is determined to break Jack Nicholson. So they end up lobotomizing him, basically. Oh my god. So that he just, you know, shuts up. So this is like a movie that entails, you know, it pushes you to think for yourself. Yeah. Um, which right, is I what I like. That. And it shows you that you don't have to feel the way everybody else feels to still have a valuable thought. Touche. So who I would put in Jack Nicholson's spot would have to be none other than Willem Dafoe. Okay. Because he could be eccentric. He could be fun. You know, that's the guy that you want to in a role like that. Mm -hmm. Um and for the nurse ratchet part, I think Helen Marin would just be awesome. If you have a British accent, like You're in. you are so <laughs> villainous. Like you are a villain without even trying. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know, and so the the British accent I think would really work for what I was looking for. Um and that's what I would do. Okay. Cool beans. Mm, that'll work. Another remake that I would like to see done? Mm -hmm. I would like to see a remake of Predator. Why? Because you don't like Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. <laughs> I think the movie Predator was a movie before its time. Okay. That couldn't utilize the technology that we have today. So you're talking about the very first original Predator you want to remake. Yeah, I want an exact remake. I want it to be remade like they remade The Omen. <laughs> Because it was the same exact shit. Scene for scene. Yeah. The Which has never been done movie. before with other remakes, but they did it with The Omen. Right? They, they did, did it with that. the fucking Omen. They could have done so much. Down more. to the air embolism. Same shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh they can't see my necklace. Now, who do you ask? <laughs> who would I put in to play Dutch? Yeah, who would you put in to play in Dutch? In Predator? Who you ask? Who do you think? I have no idea because your mind is just anarchy. <laughs> it's definitely not John Cena. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would put Roman Reigns. He's uh, ah. basically the face of wrestling right now. Okay. Okay. And uh, I think he would do good in that role. Cool. Um, and let's be honest. Um, if you watch that Predator, the only role. What are you doing? Don't decorate my cookie. I'm giving you some buttons on your tie, man. Worry about your ugly sweaters. My ugly sweaters are done. Well, good for you. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, okay. Another movie I'd like to see re-seen, redone? I'd like to see X-Men redone. Ooh. Okay, okay. I would like to see X-Men redone. And I don't care what anybody says. I think Tom Hardy would make a really good Wolverine. Wow, you wouldn't keep it at... You can't keep it at Hugh Jackman. He's too old now. And he's... Let's be honest. He was the perfect Wolverine. Yeah. Not saying that he, he was the perfect Wolverine. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he wasn't. It would be really hard to follow to follow that. Mm -hmm. So... But I think Don't Tom, worry, you're not on camera. <laughs> I think Tom Hardy would be a, a good follow-up. Okay, okay. I mean, he played Mad Max, which is... Pretty angry. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, he did a good job. So, you're going to have to talk because I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> well, I guess we weren't going to be, we're not going to hear five of your movies. But, um, oh, why don't we give out a little promo action here? Shout out to Rockade for supporting the LGBT community. Um, you could always catch us doing Drag Queen and King Bingo every second and fourth Saturday of the month. And that is located at 1015 Southeast 47 Terrace in Cape Coral. Every second and fourth Saturday of the month, we're always promoting a nonprofit organization, raising money for their cause. And 
I'll show you one of my ugly sweaters. Got some star buns here. Mine's pretty. It's fabulous. Not so much. Yeah. You sound constipated there. You all right? I am constipated. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's, mm, it's good shit. Also, shout out to our uh, big cameraman, Marco. Sorry that you couldn't be here to support us, bro, but I, we know you're sick. But uh, we're trying to hold on to the reins for you. So shout out to you, Marco, our Thanks. producer in action. Yeah, you can use those brushes. That's fine. Oh, my God. He's really getting into it. He's brushing the pants on the gingerbread man. I use my fingers. I don't even know why you're being so delicate about it. I don't it. want the icing on my fingers. <laughs> so you lick the icing off the fingers. It gets sticky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, who else are we going to give a shout out to? Oh, yeah. Payless Tobacco. Where's that at? That's in Lehigh, right? No, that's in Punta Gorda. Oh, it's in Punta Gorda. Right on 41. Okay. Really easy to get to. Okay. Wonderful woman by the name of Michelle Mills. Mm -hmm. With one L. Michelle with one L. And if you uh, talk about over the top, you mentioned over the top, you're going to get 10% off. So Anything in the store. Anything in the store. So the more you spend, the more you save. Just saying. All right. Here, you want to come out? Sure. Since you already cheated on your keto. Ah! Don't ah! <laughs> <So> hurt me. <laughs> so, yeah. I think your gingerbread man is almost done. I'll show my second sweater. Oh, there went some of the sprinkles. That's okay. I'll pick it up. But yeah, that's my other sweater. Did it with more buttons than I did two stars on the top. Make it look like a... Uh, Nutcracker kind of deal. This one, I just gave him a little badge and I gave him sprinkles on his arms instead. Buttons going all the way down and on the bottom. Thought that was pretty cool. I did three ugly sweaters. Oh, look at you being all creative, putting the nerds on the pants. Just the right amount. Just the right amount, baby. You want some sprinkles on the pants too, or no? No. No? Okay. So what exactly is my punishment supposed to be for cheating on my keto? I think, what's his name? Tony? Tony Blu-ray? Yeah, Tony Blu-ray. Well, Tony Blu-ray said that he thinks you should dress like a very feminine girly girl. And that you should speak... Like a feminine girly girl, what which the we fuck? all know <laughs> means saying nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. You're so wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. It's on. I guess I'm going to be making a hair appointment very shortly. Here. But the director sent me very special instructions. Okay. We were to talk for a little bit as we were making our cookies. Mm-hmm. And you now have to eat all the cookies. What? One sitting uh -uh. on the camera. Because the punishment should fit the crime. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm just kidding. You don't need to eat all the cookies. That was a joke. Marco didn't say any of it. Hmm. I was like, okay, which one am I going to eat first? Who am I going to eat last? And <laughs> we'll figure it out. And it looks like my wife is looking for something. Uh uh. There you go, Mo. That's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't eat that whole thing of cookies, okay? It was shared by the household. But this is what I cheated on my keto diet with. with she was saying chocolate chip and on that nuts. lounge chair, just chomping away with the box on her lap. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was me. Busted. I was busted. Oh, looks like your gingerbread man's coming along nicely, sir. It's pretty gay. Some sweet tart suspenders. I have a gay. Sister. Yeah, you do. 
You know what? I don't think we actually talked about uh, National Coming Out Day, which had already passed. But um, National Coming Out Day. Yeah. I don't really have a coming out day, but I'll explain one for uh, how my brother found out. So not, this is in high school. My brother was a sophomore at the time. And he was having a very deep in thought conversation with his friend. And he tends to do this with his hands a lot. You know, he's just explaining and explaining something to him. And the friend's just doing kind of looking around my brother. And my brother's like, what is your problem? And the friend goes, dude, um, I know you're on a rant, but I think your sister's kissing a girl. And my brother turns around and he looks at me kissing the girl and he goes, huh, now that makes sense. Now back to my story. <laughs> didn't even face him. <laughs> it did not even face him. Honestly, he knew before I knew, damn it. <laughs> it was the first time that my sister ever really made sense to me when I looked at her. I was like, oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> now I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good in the hood. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a fun story. Mm -hmm. I think your gingerbread man's... Perfect. Let me press down on those nerds, make sure they don't fall. It's a shame I couldn't put glitter on your damn beard. Well, you know, some of us step up to the challenge. <laughs> some of us don't. Mm -hmm. This is true. This is true. Did you find out, by the way, how much weight you lost when you were on keto? I think it was like 11 pounds. 11 pounds? Not yeah. bad. All right, moment of truth. All right, see you. There is Moe's gingerbread cookie decorated. It's Pulling the very away. first time I've ever decorated a gingerbread cookie. Mm -hmm. What's funny is, is I would eat all of this stuff, just not together. I wouldn't have <laughs> nerds with a gingerbread cookie. I wouldn't have icing with my jawbreakers. I wouldn't have nerds with that stuff. Mm. Thank you. That's pretty good. Yeah, put a sack in it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's tasty. All right, well, that's what we have for you guys today. Unfortunately, Marco's sick. Shout out to Marco. Mm -hmm. He's still going to edit this video because that's cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's right. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you, Hawks. Merry Christmas. Peace. Get out with OTP. Yeah, you know me. Get out with OTP. Yeah, you know me.